is up you guys it is Kylie aka glam by Kai and I am back with another video so today I'm gonna be doing a full face of elf cosmetics makeup when I was on their website I decided I was like hey let's just buy a enough items for a full face of makeup so that I can film a YouTube video on it um, I have been running low on makeup so I decided to stock up with some few items I didn't want to spend too much money. I don't have a lot of money to spend, as everybody knows. Most people are out of work right now. So I was like, you know what? Let's buy some elf makeup. Let's film a video, pass the time together. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I got to try out today is the Elf Skin Hit Kit. This has a primer. It also has all the feels facial oil, a calm balm, lip balm. Also is the e.l.f. happy hydration cream, which is a moisturizer. So I'm really impressed with the ingredients in the happy hydration cream because there's not a lot of fillers. One of the first ingredients is the hemp in the product, which makes me really happy to see. That means it's very highly concentrated. So I'm really excited to try out this hydration cream. So let's get into this. The first product I'm going to be trying out today is the e.l.f. All The Feels Facial Oil. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take this out and see if it has a scent. It doesn't really have a strong scent to it, so I'm just going to take the oil in my fingertips and I'm going to rub it around. Kind of a little bit on my forehead, a little on my nose, cheeks. did give me a nice glow it made my skin very luminous but then again it is a facial oil so that is what it is supposed to do so we're gonna go into the next product so the next product we're gonna be dipping into today is going to be the elf happy hydration cream this is just like the little jar this is what came in the little kit it doesn't have a very strong scent it's white this is what it looks like I am really impressed with this moisturizer. It is very lightweight, but it's also thick enough to where it feels like it's really giving me that moisture for my dry skin type. As for the ingredients, it does have really nice ingredients. Typically in drugstore products, there is a lot of fillers and the hemp oil is like all the way in the middle or at the bottom. Um, but I'm really happy to see in this moisturizer that there's no added fragrance and that the first ingredient is water and then the second ingredient is the hemp oil. So really happy with this moisturizer. So the next product is gonna be the e.l.f. Calm Balm. This is just the lip balm that has the hemp derived cannabis sativa oil in it. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. Okay, I really like this lip balm. It's very soft, it's very smooth on the lips. And it's not very greasy, so it feels like it would be very hydrating. So I do like this lip balm. Now, to jump into the makeup portion of the video, I'm going to be starting off with the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this out on my fingertips. When it comes out, it comes out pretty white. So I'm just going to rub this in my fingertips. It's pretty thick of a primer. Hmm. So this primer is really thick. It just feels really like, really thick. I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. So before I jump into my makeup, I did want to just show you guys something else that I got. Um, this is the e.l.f. Artist Mixing Palette. So basically this is just a little mixing palette that you put on your hand so that you can put the foundation or like whatever you want to mix together so that it's not touching your skin. I'm really really happy I got this. I've been looking for one of these just for when I do makeup on clients so that I can mix it without having to put it on my hand or having to use like a tray and I can just keep it like really handy right here. So I'm just going to be using this today just to 
test it out and see how it works. So for foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just a glass bottle, a black top. This is in shade Lily, and this is Ferris Fair with golden undertones. I'm gonna give it a little shake just in case. Don't know if it's been sitting or not. I'm just gonna okay. and for the sponge I'm gonna be using the highlighting and sculpting sponge um, I've used this before just gonna dip in. So this is what the foundation looks like after I put it on and I blended it out. I just think that it's a little light for me. I think if I would have picked my correct shade, then it would look a little bit better. But I also do think that this might be the perfect match for me when I don't have a tan. I know you guys are probably like, uh, she has a tan. She looks like a Casper ghost. Um, but I just came back from Puerto Rico, so I do have a little bit of a tan going on on my body. And now I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is what it looks like. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes and on my forehead. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so I really like the way that this concealer made my makeup look, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more on my nose. This concealer is really good, guys, so if you need an affordable concealer, I know a lot of people would compare this to the e.l.f. shape tape, or to the art shape tape, and I do think that this is a good dupe for that. If you want to try a new concealer, I would definitely recommend trying out this concealer. So now I'm going to be trying out the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is like their new luminous setting powder, so we're going to try this out and see what it looks like on my skin. powder does have a little bit of a tan tint to it so it does not brighten my under eyes very much it kind of puts a little cast on them i'm not too mad at it because this foundation is a little light so i'm not mad at the darkness but on a regular day i wouldn't want my powder to darken up my concealer now that i set my eyes with the halo glow setting powder i'm gonna be dipping into the elf prime and stay finishing powder this is just what it looks like this is in shade light to medium it does look a little bit dark for my skin tone but hopefully since i am looking a little bit pale it will help warm me up just a little bit i'm just gonna take the powder with my jeffree star brush tap all into it this powder definitely has a color to it I look orange now. Okay, so now I have the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder all over my face. Um, it did have a little bit of a tint to it, so it did kind of leave me like a little bit darker in some places, but it kind of helped out with the lightness of this makeup look, so I'm not too mad at it. Since I have all of that powder laid down on my skin, I am going to use a cool down setting spray just to kind of give my skin some moisture back so that it doesn't look so like powdery and cakey. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cool Down Mist. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to spray this. Okay, this smells amazing. This literally smells so bomb. Dude, I need some more. This smells so fresh and like so refreshing. So if you don't have a good setting spray, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is one of my first favorite setting sprays that I found from the drugstore. So once again, this is the e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cool Down Mist and it smells fucking bomb. So for brows today, I'm going to be jumping into the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is what it looks like in the package. 
Um, I got this in shade Neutral Brown. Um, I did want to get blonde, but they were out of stock on the website, so I decided to just try out the Neutral Brown and see if it works out, because I do have pretty dark eyebrows. Okay, so this is what the brow pencil looks like out of the package. It's got the little spoolie on the end. It's a pretty thick spoolie. And then this is what the pencil looks like. So we're just going to go in. Okay, so now we have the brows on. They're looking a little dark on camera, but in person they do look pretty normal. They don't look too dark. I really like the way that they turned out and I really like this brow pencil because it's very creamy and it's very easy to like blend and maneuver. So if you're a beginner, this eyebrow pencil would probably be really good for you just because it's very easy to use. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna carve out my brows. The two eyeshadows that I'm going to be trying out today are these two. These are the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes. They're neutral colors. Orangish shade, this is Pumpkin Pie, and then this is Berry Bad. So I'm going to be using a combination of both of these to come up with an eye look for today. Also got this e.l.f. fluffy blender brush that we're gonna try out today. So first I'm gonna be going in with the Berry Bad Eyeshadow Quad. I'm gonna be going in with this very light transition shade. We're gonna start with that in my crease. reddish burgundy color. I'm gonna go in the outer corners of my eyes with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with this lightest blending shade. I'm just gonna go on the outer edge to just blend everything together. Now I'm gonna be jumping into the other eyeshadow quad. I'm gonna be jumping into this shimmery shade on the outer edge. I'm gonna put that right in the front of my eyelid and we're just going to blend it into that darker shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the Berry Bad palette and I'm gonna be dipping into this pink shimmery shade and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my eye or like right in the middle of my eyelid. So now I'm gonna be going in back with that deepest burgundy color and I'm just gonna go in the outer corner to just darken this all back up. Now I'm just gonna dust away any of the fallout that fell under my eyes. Now I'm gonna take that deepest mauve shade and put that right on my lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna take that fluffy brush into the light transition shade and I'm gonna go along to blend out any of the harsh edges. Now for eyeliner, I'm gonna be going in with the Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Black from ELF. This is what it looks like. Do a cute little wing liner moment. Nothing really dramatic, hopefully. We'll see if my wing gets carried away or not. Now I'm gonna be going in with the ELF lashes. These are the ELF Foaming Social Butterfly Lashes. This is what they look like. So before I put on the lashes, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. So I'm just gonna go in with the ELF 3-in-1 Very Black Mascara just to blend in these lashes. This is what the tip looks like. Okay, so now the eyes are complete. This is what the eyes look like. So to contour today, I'm gonna to be going in with the e.l.f. blush palette light. I forgot to order a contour color, so I'm gonna be going in with this contour shade. 
and I'm gonna be using a mixture of these two blushes for my blush. So these shades are very pretty. They're really bright, but they're not like too pigmented and they're also not, not pigmented. So that's what the blush and the contour looks like. I think it looks really good. So now for highlighter, I'm gonna be going in with the Metallic Flare Highlighter. This is the white gold highlighter. And I'm just gonna take this highlighter on this Morphe M441 brush. This is the brush that I use for highlighter. It's a little bit lighter than the highlighter shades I'm used to. I'm only used to like a little bit more of like a champagne or a gold one. This is probably my favorite drugstore highlighter as of right now. Okay, so now a trick that I like to do is I am going to spray my face and then I'm gonna put more highlighter on just to kind of give it that pop effect so that the highlighter will really glow and really like stand out. This setting spray smells so good. So now for lips today, I'm gonna do something that I don't typically do. I don't normally use a lip liner or do an ombre color on my lips, so we're gonna see how this is gonna look. So I'm just gonna outline my lips in this deep brown shade, and then I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade to kind of give it that ombre effect. Okay, so now that I have the lip liner on, I am gonna go ahead and go in. This is gonna be the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Cream Lipstick. This is just a nice neutral pink lip shade. I'm gonna put that right in the center of my lips. Okay guys, so this is what the final look looks like. I'm pretty impressed with all of the products I used today. And then I really liked the lip liner and lipstick that I used today, it blended very well. The lashes are really nice, they're really long. I would definitely use them. They didn't really keep their shape that it showed on the packet, but that's okay. Overall, I think e.l.f. is a very good brand. It's very affordable, it's cheap, and it's easily accessible. So it is in Walmart, it's in Target, it's in Kohl's, it's in stores in the mall. And I do think it is a very good brand for either teenagers just starting out with makeup or anybody that just wants to save some coins. I'm pretty impressed with all these products. I will be using more of these products in the future. Not too sure about their skincare. We're gonna have to see and keep testing that out to see if that really worked for me. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of my makeup look. To subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit the bell notification. That way you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I wanna thank you guys all for watching this video and continuing to support me on this journey. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.